Hi friends, it is Queen Alita. I'm back with another video, a new word to share with you guys today. Um, it's based on a dream that I had on August 9th, so just a few days ago. And um, so I welcome you back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. Okay, so before we get into the word, a quick disclaimer. Those of you who are not new to the channel, you know the drill. But in case you're new, always 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 understand that not every prophetic word is meant for everybody so this word may not be for you but if you do feel that it's meant for you please take it to the Lord ask him to give you confirmation the Lord always confirms his word he will do that if he really is trying to get a message across to you um, and it's also important that you have your own relationship with him that you know how to hear from him that his voice is the first and the last voice in your life um, that you're not always relying on everybody else to tell you what's going on with your life but really that um, videos like this are just a confirmation or you know something that God may be starting to speak to you about and for some of you this video really is confirmation of what God has been speaking to you about um, of course I still encourage you to keep going back to him keep asking him the questions that you may have and seeking him for the strategies the way forward how to deal with stuff based on this word just keep taking it back to him that constant uh, relationship with him is the most important thing um, yes the most important relationship you'll ever have so keep the Holy Spirit close to you <laughs> um, so without much more delay I'll, I'll share the dream with you guys like I said I had it on August 9th so um, in the dream I was in the first scene I just remember coming from an event I was with some of my family members specifically my mom I remember distinctly that she was in the dream and we were just crossing a street or about to cross a street and I was carrying stuff um, I remember coming across someone that I know in waking life um, someone that I used to be really close with many years ago but because of certain dynamics um, with just yeah certain dynamics um with people that influenced her you know we just weren't close anymore um she pulled away so um i was with her like i guess we came across each other on the street and i started to talk to her it was very uh friendly um because i still have uh very good feelings towards her um it's just you know unfortunate that things happened the way they did um, and there was also someone standing um, I don't know if that person was with her but it was a man and I remember at some point um, removing my shoes but there were like um, slippers like sandal slippers um, white I'll, I'll try and put a picture they were white um, I actually have <laughs> a pair maybe I should just show you <laughs> They were exactly like this okay these these are my old navy slippers so i took them off because they were bothering me or you know i was trying to walk and i had them on so i took them off because i actually had another pair of shoes on at the same time but they look like socks um and then the man who was with um this the young lady that i was talking to he says oh but they're socks and i said no 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 they're actually shoes um i knew they were shoes they were just designed to look like socks um, but i confidently just corrected him and told him they were shoes and then i remember getting um, crossing the street and getting to the car and i was just my mom was driving she was waiting for me and i was just throwing in all my shoes i had so many shoes that i had been carrying and just making sure that i got them all in um, she was being very patient with me. It just felt really good and light. It felt really good. Um, that part of the dream, actually the whole dream <laughs> felt good. Um, I was putting my shoes. Then the scene switched to where we were um, in this house, but it was a, a house that was like really small, like a tiny house, probably in like a, um, you know, the kind of places where, um, houses were built you know just for low really low income earners and it's like all these standard houses were built i'm trying to find the terms there's different terms in different places and none of them are coming to me um low income housing type of thing so i remember that i i'm trying to think what came first in the dream oh yes so i was in the kitchen um, I think my sister was there in the kitchen with me and we had just finished cooking we had cooked up a storm okay but 
<laughs> the kitchen was chaos. There, there was just chaos everywhere in terms of every appliance, every spoon, every fork, everything that we could have used in that kitchen, we used to prepare this meal. Okay, so everything was out, everything needed to be cleaned. It was just like, okay, these people really cooked and they really used everything. And happily with a positive attitude, I was ready to start doing the dishes. I was ready to start cleaning up. And then a friend of mine came in, someone I'm really close to right now. And she said, no, have you forgotten that these two people are here? They can do that. You don't have to touch the cleaning up, the dishes, anything like that. And I was like, oh yeah, you're right. Um, and then the dream kind of switched. Uh, it was still in the same low income house, but um, now I was with that young lady again that I uh, mentioned earlier who was on the street with me and her mom was there as well. Now her mom has a spirit of jealousy, very heavy, very, very heavy spirit of jealousy. So in the dream, um, they had just come into the house and I remember seeing um, the car, right, um, that the young lady was driving. It was a red Mercedes Benz, very fancy, very fancy. And when I looked out again where they parked it, I was like, wait, what's going on? Because now I saw a different car or, yeah, let me just say I saw a car. It was red, but it was, it was overturned and it was just like a shell there were no tires it looked like it had been in an accident it looked like basically what you would take to the scrapyard to you know get the metal processed um and i looked towards the gate and the mercedes was actually being driven out um and i knew in the dream that someone was taking that car temporarily they needed to use it and that this young lady who i used to be close with in waking life had to let the car go um, for that period. And that was pretty much the dream. The dream felt really good overall. I love this dream. And I was sitting here for a while, just like, Lord, you know, I love this dream. I know it has a great meaning. You know, please speak to me. And he really came through and, and started to speak to me about it. So I'm gonna read from my notes, of course, like I normally do. Um, let me start with that first scene. Oh, I forgot to say that um, on top of having all those shoes, what I was wearing, I was dressed um, the way that you would dress for a um, an event, but like a um, conference type and up type of event, maybe a corporate event, maybe a cocktail evening type of thing. Because I was wearing these pants, and I don't usually wear pants. Okay, I'm short, <laughs> so when I go buy pants, they're always too long for me, and I always have to hem them up. So. I was the, the the dress code in the dream is very distinct because I don't normally dress like that. So I was wearing pants. Um, there were satin type of material, flared at the bottom, very nice style, very stylish, flared at the bottom, um, a bit tighter on the top part in the hip section, and a nice. Um, satin type of blouse that just went beautifully with the pants the colors were not clear to me i actually don't remember what color i was wearing but i know the style it was very um elegant sophisticated um and yeah i felt really great in the dream so now um i just want to go through some of the symbols and try and flow with the way the lord wants me to flow so the main thing about this dream right has to do with being prepared but it's not just be prepared it's be prepared for what and i believe that the lord is saying to us today that we whoever this word is for be prepared get ready to testify because you've been through a preparation process the kitchen in the second uh, part of the dream is a place of preparation you've been in a place of preparation and it has been rough and intense you know all the stops had to be pulled you had to do a lot of work the lord had to do a lot of work in you and you had to do a lot of work as well this was not a passive uh preparation process you had to do some things so that whole symbolism of all the dishes and everything being out and everything being used but the meal was ready it was prepared the lord is saying you are prepared 
and I like this dream because it's almost like back to front so that first scene was showing what you need to actually be prepared for and really it has to do with testifying all those shoes that I had you know the white shoes just showing that um, the, the, the pure the purity the purification process the, the the righteousness of God the Lord is saying that you are you are one of his righteous if you don't know that you're the righteous one of the Lord you need to know that right now because it's true and so you're walking in that and there's even a double um, anointing a double because I had the two pairs on and the one looked like socks but they were really shoes and it's it's just something that's different that isn't uh, what people would expect but it's all for God's glory it's part of what of, of what you'll be testifying to people this really has to do with you being ready to speak and share what God has done in your life and it will look different people won't understand won't understand it initially you know that man was like wait those are socks and I was like no they're actually shoes um, and even that interaction with that uh, the young lady that um, I used to be close with, I believe that the Lord is showing us people that may have hurt us, may have just, you know, cut us off or, you know, that, that um, really were influenced by somebody else or other people and you lost that relationship. And the Lord is saying, God is going to start bringing these people back into your life and you're going to have to testify. You're going to have to share your testimony. You're going to have to um, bring to light what God has been doing in your life. And it's not only that those people or that person, but even just coming from an event, um, I was interacting with people, I would assume, in an event, right? And I had all my shoes with me because I was coming from that event with all my shoes. And there's a preparedness. When, when it comes to all the shoes, I wrote here, many shoes being prepared for any scenario in order to witness, in order to be that witness, in order to testify and share the love of God and share what God has done in your life and how um, He can change other people's lives as well so that they too can start to um surrender their lives to the lord because even with this young lady towards the end of the dream her car she had to let her car go because someone else needed to use it and even the symbol of the overturned car which was the same color as hers it's like god is going to do something new in people's lives but you have to speak you have to testify you have to be ready carry all your shoes my mother in the dream represented the Holy Spirit. So she was driving that car and I had to make sure that I was, I had all my shoes with me because I, I had to be prepared for any scenario. Um, when I was on the street, I, I was wearing the shoes I was wearing so that I could walk on the street. You know, I wasn't gonna wear heels. And I met up with this young lady on the street and I was talking to her. She was seeing what um, my walk, if, if that makes sense. So again, going back to her um, later in the dream, um, the Lord is gonna start a process in these people that you are going to testify um, to about him about the goodness um, that he has done in your life and he's gonna start a process of stripping them that car was stripped you know there was two symbols of being stripped there the, the car that was turned over that had no tires and nothing it just looked like a shell and her car being driven away all of that just a symbol of being stripped so these people are going to see what God has done in your life they're going to hear about it from you and they're going to start to surrender and the Lord is going to start to strip them and they're going to be the ones who are going to have to do a whole cleaning up process of their own life so me in the dream not having to clean the kitchen and um, the, my other friend just saying hey these two people are gonna do it and it really was referring to that young lady and her mother um, God is showing that um, they're gonna have to start a cleanup process and and start their process of being prepared you know cleaning up that kitchen and cooking up their own thing and going through a similar process because you have shared with them you have testified you've given your testimony and also a very key thing about this dream is that the spirit of jealousy has been destroyed in your life some of you have had to contend with the spirit coming at you from different sources or different people through different people and whenever i see this particular um mom and daughter duo in my dreams i know god is showing me that spirit of jealousy um, because that mom has always had a very strong sense uh, spirit of jealousy and she lived it out through her daughter she would because her daughter and I are the same age so what she would do is she would see what our 
I bought or what I was doing and she would tell her daughter to do the same thing and her daughter played along with that she was influenced by her mother so seeing um, them in the dream just really revealed to me that spirit of jealousy and the Lord was saying that spirit has been defeated it has been defeated and God is actually going to undo the effects of it in certain people who were pulled into it because of the influence around them and it is because of your testimonies because of where God has you it's because of everything you've been through that intense period of preparation you've been through all of that and now it is time or the time is coming for you to testify of course always seek God about um, timing when it comes to any prophetic word that you hear but um, a lot of you are coming into a time where you have to start to speak where you have to start to share what God has been doing there was a time where you had to be quiet where you had to be silent where God had to do things where he had to bring restoration in certain areas some of you are still waiting for restoration but as those things are happening God is going to start having you speak so that others can start their process um, and um, just making sure I haven't forgotten anything um, yeah the scripture is a beautiful one that we all know. Uh, my laptop will just operate. Isaiah 61. Um, I'm just going to read and flow with the Lord. The spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon me, for the Lord has anointed me to bring good news to the poor. He has sent me to comfort the brokenhearted and to proclaim that captives will be released and prisoners will be freed. What you're about to do, your walk, your testimony, all of that is about to free some people from the prison that um, the enemy had put them in using the spirit of jealousy, using a, a lying spirit, a deceiving spirit, whatever spirits were at play. Um, the Lord has already defeated those spirits in their lives and in your life because it affected you and it affected them. And um, the Lord is saying through what you, what he's put in you, the process that you've been through all that intensity he has put his spirit upon you and he has anointed you to bring good news to the poor these are the words that Jesus spoke right remember Jesus came to be an example of how we should live so just as much as the spirit of the sovereign Lord was upon him God is saying the spirit of the sovereign Lord is upon you as well and he is sending you to comfort the brokenhearted, to proclaim that captives will be released and prisoners will be freed. So I believe that the Lord only wants me to read verse 1 for this word. Um, so run with this and take it to him. Ask him to help you understand how, when, where you are to start sharing your testimony. Because I believe that the platforms are going to be bigger than you expect you know I was coming from an event I was well dressed you know and so I believe that you're going to find yourself in situations or places that you least expect and um, really your testimony is going to inspire a lot of people but it's time get ready to testify of God's goodness know that those spirits that have been coming against you specifically that spirit of jealousy has been defeated excuse me it's been defeated and it cannot operate in your life anymore all right so also remember even though certain relationships were you know affected you may have lost some good relationships because of that spirit of jealousy people coming against you coming between you and certain people um it's so important that you don't hold that against the people that god is going to bring back into your life for you to minister to for you to share your testimony with because god wants to do a work in them he has plans for them as well and just as much as you and i have fallen short of the glory of god just like them um we are to show grace because we're all in the same boat we all needed the grace of the lord we all need the blood of jesus to cleanse us from all sin okay we all need god's grace so it's important that we show grace as well um, and just be led by God in how we interact in these relationships. So that's the word for today. Friends, tomorrow we have a, well, I do pray that it has blessed you. <laughs> tomorrow we have a Dreamers link up session. So if you're interested, 
to come through and um, share your dreams and you know we work them out together we interpret them together you can uh, find the link in my description box below this video it is a patreon membership so if you're interested in joining the community go ahead and click the link otherwise I will see you in the next video always remember that God is a good father he loves you so much because you my friend are so deeply special to him. Majesty, first.